Well, we're heading back out. It is Saturday, January. What is it, Louis? I don't even 29. know. 29. 29s, something like that. It is about 15 degrees and it's probably about 11.30, 11 11.45. We decided to wait till this time of the day to head in. And because last couple times we hung it late season in the morning, we chased all the deer out. And we noticed there's a lot of deer coming to our food plot in our corn pile between 12 o'clock and two o'clock. And then in the evening again. So we're gonna hunt this afternoon and this evening. See if we can get a doe or a buck for Lewis. And I still have a tag as well. I don't have a buck yet either. This is the last Saturday we can hunt because next Saturday is the last Saturday of bow season and we're going to Harrisburg to the sportsman show so we can't go hunting. But we still have evenings next week if we decide to go. We had our friend Tim Martin come out and do some drone footage of uh, the property here and of us walking in. So that was kind of cool. See the property from the air with the snow on the ground and uh, get a different perspective of it. These four wheeler tracks was Wednesday night. I came down and put some more corn and peanuts out for the deer. Somebody told me deer absolutely love peanuts, peanuts in the shell. And so I bought, I just bought two, excuse me, two uh, little five pound bags of peanuts and dumped it on top of the corn pile. So I'm real curious if they really eat them or not. I'm sure they did, but we haven't been here since. And most of our cameras are dead. So we haven't been getting very many pictures. But there's one camera up here and one out by the food plot that's still working. And two days ago, a new buck showed up. Looks like a nice wide 11 pointer. Uh, not real heavy, but he's nice and wide. And he was there again last night out in the food plot. So Louis thinks he has a good chance of that one tonight. We're just taking our time walking up the hill here. A lot of deer tracks. Look at that trail down the bank. Fresh tracks. They go out there to the food plot. Or there's a blind. Look at all those tracks in the food plot. There's our food plot. 30 yards wide by 100 yards long. And we have a corn pile right here. I just put 350 pounds of corn there. Wednesday night, and this is Saturday noon. It's almost gone. Look at all the blackbirds, good grief. Suppose those were all deer, Lewis. <laughs> there to go. They didn't like that idea. They want to be blackbirds, not deer. Well, no deer yet, just a whole bunch of blackbirds. They're just flocking back again. This is what, the third time that they're, I think, drinking some coffee. Some, got some hot coffee. It's almost wrong for this blind. Like it's supposed to be a northwest wind, but it's, it's blowing right down the edge. 
maybe a little bit into the woods. Way up there is a deer. Somewhere there. Looked like a doe. I didn't see any antlers anyway. Somewhere up there in the woods. But that's like uh, 200, 250 yards away. see any buttons but
where the blood is. Yeah, it's really bent. bent. Head, the shoulder Good. blade. You can see the blood over there on the ground. And there's even blood right there already. Okay, give me the arrow. I'll just carry it. We left the quiver in the blind. Okay, we're not gonna follow it because we know she went in the woods up here. We're just gonna go up here on the edge until we get to the blood trail. Pretty sure she's down. She stopped here apparently. And then went this way. Well, how far did she go? Pump the blood like crazy. You think she's not dead? She went on down that way though. I see blood over there. But she didn't stop there for a second. Maybe we should wait. See, can't get through here. Well, I'll go around. Let me see how that blood looks. Goodness gracious. She's gotta be. She didn't bed here. She just stopped here. Keep following on. I don't see how she can go by the bottom of the blood glass. Lots of old beds here. this. Here's a piece of bone. He apparently hit her in the shoulder or something. So that's a piece of I don't know. shoulder or something. But he definitely went all the way through. Yeah. But it's hard to tell with the blood because there's so much fat on the arrow and hair. But I'm wondering if it's a little low. And shoulder. I don't know. I'm wondering. Let's, let's go to the top of the bank and see. So the blood is right here. 
gives you in this way. You should probably sink a wall into the other woods. Okay. Now we wait. Because mm -hmm. she's... Over there. Huh? Over there. Yeah. Probably across the power line. Power line's right up there. She probably crossed up there. I would say we give her some time. She's probably gonna bed down. And hopefully she'll bleed out if she hasn't yet. Huh. We probably should have waited. Yeah. Should have probably waited a little longer, but we thought it was a good hit. And a uh, fair amount of blood. And thought she'd just lie up here somewhere, but... This is probably 150 yards, 200, not quite 200, 150 yards probably from where we shot. And she's still going. We found that piece of bone, which is telling me we hit some shoulder or leg or something. But as we can see, she's clearly bleeding a lot or a fair amount. And I think we, we definitely think, I think we're definitely going to get her, but she went a lot further than we, she should have, in my opinion. Here's a bunch of beds, old beds, and there's blood spread right here. So she went right down that way. Beds, a whole bunch of beds down there too. So we decided to come down to the truck and get my card reader so I can put the SD card in and view it on my phone from the big camera, have a bigger screen to look at the footage, see where he hit her. Probably should have done that first, but too late now, we didn't do it. She's definitely bleeding a lot. The arrow went all the way through. And we know he hit bone somewhere. Which could have been the offside shoulder too. So we'll see. I'm carrying the crossbow now because I got a tag and Lewis probably doesn't. But I'm gonna give her some time, go back and look at the footage and decide how much time we need to give her. All right, we got the footage downloaded to my phone. I put it in the iMovie and slowed it down as, as slow as I could. Uh, this crossbow shoots so hard, it's really hard to see the arrow. But you can kind of see. See the arrow go past her hind leg. And she does not use her right leg, her, her offside leg, she didn't use once, or she never ran on it. So I'm pretty sure he hit her in the offside shoulder, and that's where that bone came from. But, still not sure where he hit. It looks, if anything, it's maybe a little bit low, like maybe... I don't know, maybe under the heart or in front of the heart. I don't know, but it must have been tight to the shoulder because uh, she wasn't quartering away very much. And if you hit the offside, it was real close to the to the near side one as well. I think we'll just give her a couple hours, and then we'll go check. Well, Lewis convinced me to buy him another tag. I'm pretty sure he got that dough, but... He only had one tag, I had one tag, but he could still get one more. So I just got him another tag. Now I just got two there that are active. That way, if another buck comes tonight, he can shoot a buck. We'll see. Yeah. All right. All of a sudden, we were like a little worried. 
can remember in Ohio if you can uh, hunt uh, go after the second deer if you haven't tagged the first one I can remember what the regulations were so I pulled it up on my phone and it says a hunter may do the following take more than one deer per day as long as the harvest and animals information has been recorded on the permit or submitted to game check so according to that if he fills out his tag he should be good to go shoot a buck even even if the tag is not attached to the doe we're pretty sure he got her we really watched that footage to get it I think it was just a tad bit low maybe I'm not sure but she was pumping blood like crazy when she ran off. So, he's gonna fill out his tag, and if I understand this correctly, he's good to go then. There's a deer up there. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, should be, it's walking right there.
None of them are liner. But that's a really nice one too. The one up there by the toe. season. Okay, we're back on the track where we'd left off. All right, we found her. That was a long way. Um, not sure how far it was, but it's pretty far. The shot looks kind of weird because it went in back here pretty low. It came out here. Here's her leg, like it's like it's half off. Yeah, it's. So, Kind of weird. Far side yeah. shoulders broken. Leg actually. She went far. Yeah. I'm curious to see where you hit her on the inside. Congratulations, Lewis. Thank you. Good job. Well, we finally made it back to the truck and got everything loaded. Uh, that was a workout. We didn't have our four wheeler. Um, Barbara and Joan and I had taken our four-wheeler to uh, clean out of a pond to go skating tomorrow night at my parents' place. So we had to drag the deer out in like, what, a 10, 12 inches of snow or whatever it was. That was a workout. Obviously, the deer doesn't pull that hard in snow, but walking in that heavy, thick stuff was a workout. And we got, had to go up a hill and back down the other side. So we got her done. Thanks for liking the video, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, now it's time to eat. Lewis said it looks like I got a tissue box. <laughs> We're at Dairy Queen. Uh, the, I got the chicken strip basket. Lewis got a, what did you get? A burger and yeah. cheese curds. Chicken. You got a chicken sandwich, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, well, we got one more meat, week or so of uh, bow season. Let's see if we can make it happen and get a buck yet we'll see as you saw there's still quite a few bucks there we just we sh looking back we probably should have 
uh, after he shot the doe, we went back, looked at the footage. We should have moved up to the other blind. The wind was not right, and pretty clearly they smelled us when they came into the food plot in the evening, and we should have moved up to the other blind, which would have been better for that wind, but we didn't do it. Hindsight's 2020. See you guys in the next video.